Hey, hey, hello, welcome on my channel, Triple Two Tarot. This is your girl TM and I'm back with another Pick a Card reading for all of you. So today, topic of Pick a Card reading is all about your person, your person's feelings, what's happening in this connection, what he really or she truly feelings for you, what are the intentions right now, where this relationship is headed to, what do they want to say to you but can't say it. I'm definitely going to channel the messages. This is my handmade messages. I'm also going to use the charms because you guys love it, so why not? Okay, so all detail about your person, what's happening in this connection, current feelings, thoughts, intentions, next move, and where this relationship is headed to. Okay, does not matter it's a new relationship or it's a it's a previous or whatever you are. It's it's like what's happening in this connection, and you really want to know that, right? So keep an open mind. This is a general reading. Take what resonates and leave the rest. You can also book a personal reading with me if you're interested in a personal and private reading. Contact me on my email address and Instagram link. Everything is given in the description box. If you're new on my channel, be careful from the scammers and fake people. They're trying to definitely scam you in the comment box. Are they going to reach out to you through emails, WhatsApp numbers, all that blah shit? I don't do that. I don't reach out to people. You're going to reach out to me. Everything is given in the description box. This is two authentic ways. My email address and Instagram link. Okay, so like, share and subscribe and hit the notification bell if you love what I'm doing and if you're resonating with, with these situations. So we have a three groups in front of you. I'm going to live reading, uh, live shuffling and live questions and everything we will ask and we, let's see where this relationship is heading to. With this one is a letter. Group number two is a key. Group number three is the house. So choose intuitively and I will meet you in your reading. So let's start the reading, guys. Okay, group number one, if you choose this pile, we are, you choose the letter, 27. So this person could be 27 years old or you could be. We also have two plus seven. It's uh, maybe this person's have date of birth on 27th of a month. Um, it's been a 27 days for some of you that you're talking to this person. You could have a two or seven months that you're with this person for some of you. Or this could take two or seven years too for some of you. So this person could have a life path number two, seven or nine. Um, you may be waiting for a message from this person. We also have number this um, number 32, Divine Masculine. So this could be your Divine Masculine that you're connecting with. Okay. 32. So you have this 32 and 27 uh, ages. Okay. And this person is your Divine Masculine and you're waiting for this person to text you. To basically to send you a message and tell you that what's going on in their life, right? You really is uh, manifesting basically your soulmate, your Divine Masculine. Uh, there's someone, this, this is someone who closed off to you right now. You're not in a contact with. Even though you're sending a message, this person may be not responding to you. Let's see now. What's going on in this person's life right now? What's all about this connection and about your person? What's going on in this person's life right now that you're asking about or inquiring about? Let's see. Let's see. What's going on in this person's life right now? So I'm going, to, going to, using this astrology decks. So we have a not no destiny. Yeah, this is your divine masculine. We have a not no destiny. Um, this is someone that you mean to meet this person. You you definitely have a destiny with this person. You met this person for a reason. There's a purpose here. There's a uh, learning here. There's a destiny a meeting here with this person. So a lot of you, this is your divine counterpart. You may be going to marry this person one day. Or for some of you, I'm getting like, you maybe don't know who this person is yet, but you're attracting your divine masculine, your destined partner. Yeah. This is a blossoming. This person is going through a process right now. They could be trying to... Let's see one more. We have a Chiron healing. Yeah, this person is definitely in the process of healing right now. Uh, I'm, I feel like you both um, shed a lot of tears for each other. This is a ref, definitely a very painful uh, separation or relationship. There's a lot of learning here. There's a lot of healing here to toward this destiny. This, pro, this path was not easy with this person. So this could be your twin flame I'm getting for a lot of you. Because this is a divine masculine present in your reading and the not node. And we have the Chiron. So this is definitely a healing, intense healing, intense uh, soul lessons. 12th house, there's a lot of mystery here. There's a lot of secrets here. There's also a lot of love here, like a dreamy love. Not existing in this world, maybe. So this is that type of energy I'm picking up from this person. So they're definitely coming towards you because you are their destiny, I'm getting. Okay. Not no, they're definitely coming towards you. They're definitely going through an intense healing right now. Um, this is someone, now let's see. 
you are going through an intense healing they could be shedding the old skin they're crying over you they're missing you you could be from from each other yeah eight of wands you could be far from each other there's a lot of planets here i'm also getting like this could be a jupiter or saturn so this could be your husband or husband to be like you're going to be you're going to marry this person obviously with the destiny here eight of wands this person is coming forward they're going to talk to you especially they're coming in august i'm hearing yeah, August is very important month here for you guys. We have a nine of swords. Uh, this person is definitely can't sleep at night. We have the star and we have the Hierophant reverse here. So you both have a different beliefs and culture and background. We have uh, Aquarius and Taurus vibes here. So this person could have a North Node in Aquarius or Taurus. Um, star this could be someone who's in a public eye by the way they're very famous with an art note they're definitely reaching to your their highest goals their dreams they're chasing their dreams right now um they're aligning with their higher self right now they're trying to heal there's an intense healing going on in this person's life right now with the hierophant reverse here so a lot of you this person could be already in a commitment with someone so they definitely could be in in an uh coming out of a marriage or coming out of a relationship they may be going through a separation right now and they're very hopeful with you that things will move forward if things were stagnant with this person they're not going to be stagnant anymore because they're coming forward i'm also getting this person is a spiritual but not a religious person they don't believe in religion they don't believe in cultures or, or traditions or something but they're spiritual so they, you both maybe have a different background and differences of cultures differences of religion one of you is a spiritual and other person is very religious. That type of situation may be your family backgrounds or things. This could be a twin flame, definitely. You have a higher level of soulmate. This could be a higher level of soulmate because we have this um, high priest and star here, presence in your reading. It's, it's definitely destiny here. You met this person for a reason. It's a destiny here, calling your destiny in. With the high, with the Hierophant reverse here, this person may be not ready for commitment right now. Maybe that's why they're really not sure this person definitely going through some type of uh yeah we have the bottom of the deck justice reverse so they could be already married they are they are in a very painful or unhappy marriage intense healing they need to they may be a divorcee person so maybe they need to heal themselves first in order to be with you so i'm seeing a lot of um things going on in this person's life right now but they're wishing to be with you they really want to talk to you so some of you you met this person online internet or social media or this could be your crush a lot of you you're asking about you want to know what's going on in your connection i feel like this person is going to take a connection but i feel this person is going through some deep personal intense um spiritual healing healing they could be um they're definitely aligning with their higher purpose their soul purpose their life purpose uh, and they're also aligning with their destiny. That is you, I feel, with a star here. So this is your divine masculine, by the way. Now let's see what's going on in your connection. Their next move towards you. We have a talking. So this person really want to talk to you. This person could have a fear like people are going to gossip about you in this connection. Yeah, this person definitely have a, you know, like have this fear like people are going to talk and gossip about this so they maybe have a fear that's why they're not taking an action but the nine of Wands, this person definitely and with this talking here i feel like they have definitely some fears they have some fear especially if they're in a public eye or they have some responsibility or they could be a boss or someone that uh yeah we have the grim reaper uh so this is a scorpio this person could have a life uh, north node in a Scorpio or Taurus axis going on, south node and north node. Um, if you don't know astrology, then this is definitely a Scorpio and Taurus, uh, a Taurus to Scorpio, Scorpio to Taurus, a north node and south node. Go and figure it out. So this is definitely someone who is, that you have a breakup with, you have a relationship over, or they could be releasing someone from their life right now. They're going through a um, separation here. This person really wants to fix things with you, with the hammer here. Yeah, this is definitely you have a breakup with. This could be someone that you were marriage, you were in a first marriage with, or you have a breakup with. But they really want to fix this relationship, the butterfly. You could be seeing a lot of butterflies here. So this is definitely someone who wants to relation you they really want the relationship to a next phase. They could be going through a he intense healing inner child right now. They they're definitely expanding their life right now. They have this message of concern, like they really want to tell you. 
that how they are feeling right now. They really want to fix it by the way, the hammer here. This could be someone that they're self-sabotaging, I'm hearing this connection because of the fears, because of the commitment, because of what other people are going to talk about these things. But they're, re they're really um, rebuilding their, um, this courage and strength to come towards you. This is someone I felt like this, they're self-sabotaging this connection with the Nine of Swords too. They have a lot of fears. Yeah, we have 27 and hope and wish. So this could be a 27 year. Yeah, wow. We have a 27 and 27. Wow. Look at this angel numbers here. Same number. 27, 27. So this could be a trend numbers here for you guys. So yeah, this person is hopeful that you will talk to each other again. You will cross the path again. You will meet each other again with the star. Also, this person is hoping to be with you. They're hoping that you're going to give them a chance to fix these things. They want to talk to you. They're very hopeful about this connection, but they are in a dark right now, going through a dark night of a soul, intense healing. Yeah, 36 the differences here between you and this person. There's a lot of differences here. So this person has this fear like, People are going to judge you in this relationship. So they have a fear of judgment of other people. What? Yeah, it's a black and white <laughs> yin and yang energy here. So this person could have a black and white cat. So you have it. And this person is like, yeah, you both are different, okay, from each other. That's a problem here. This person is self-sabotaging this connection. If you never talk, if you never dated this person, if you dated, this person want to fix things. They want to come back. Because they're still hopeful that you will be together. Now let's see where this relationship is heading to. What this person's action is going to take. Your higher self. Spirit, I feel like your higher self is guiding you. Like what is going to happen next. Um, they're protecting you hard. I feel like you're very angel. You're very spiritual. You're very angelic. You're very spiritual. You're very light worker, empath, healer. So your definitely higher self is guiding you. And telling you that be hopeful about this connection or let things happen as it is. You both are going through maybe uh, intense healing right now. Your higher self also telling you that, yeah, we have the stuck energy. So this person is stuck right now. They're self-sabotaging this connection. They are. They're definitely self-sabotaging this connection. They have a fear of other people. Yeah, we have a family, friends, and guides. So this person could be in your family. You could have a family with this person already. We have a this. You, this could be your friend, your family, friends, and guides. I feel like uh, the people who you lost, um, they're guiding you. Your family and friends. You could be seeing a lot of um, your family, friends, or lost people that you were loved ones, and they're also your guides here, higher self. You could be seeing a lot of vivid dreams and imagination, like about your lost one and things. They're guiding you. Um, this person has a fear, like they, they feel like what their family, friends, or society, and how people are going to judge them. Yeah, they, this person is self-sabotaging this connection. I'm strongly feeling here, like they're stuck in their own way. Now let's see more about this connection, like freedom. Yeah, this person really need a freedom. Like they need to do the things that they need to do. With the, with the not note, they definitely set comfort zone. They need to get out of their comfort zone. They need to definitely free themselves from this all um, norms of society, these societal things and family and friends, what people think, bullshit. They're, they definitely have, don't have this courage and strength right now to free themselves. They're still thinking about family and friends. They could be going through some type of right now stuck energy because they are in a karmic relationship. So they need to free themselves. And with you, it's a totally different situation. It's a different thing here. They may be reaching out to their family and friends and guides to help them. Like, what should I do? But they, they don't know that they, they need to make the move here. Now, let's see more about this connection. I feel like I saw manifestation. So you're manifesting this person. We have inspiration and we have a spirit guide. Oh my God, spirit guide is everywhere. Your higher self, spirit guides. And we also have the guides here. We have inspiration and spirit guide. Yeah, I feel like spirit guides are protecting this connection. They're with you. They're bringing this person. Uh, they're also kicking their ass, I'm hearing right now. Like, wake up. It's, it's like, do something. This is your destiny. What are you waiting for? You need to act on this. Inspiration. I feel like you are the inspiration for this person. You are more stronger than this person. Does not matter you're male or female. You have a more strength and courage. Your spirit guides are definitely, in, uh, you know, very inspired by you. You could be in a public eye, actor, singer, dancer. You could be influencer or content creator. So you have this beautiful um, 
inspirational energy I get. And this person is very inspired by you. Or maybe this person is in a public eye if you're not. Because I'm seeing you both could be in a public eye in, in, in different ways, in a different, in a different work. So th th this is, there is a difference here. Like this, or maybe this person is in a public eye and you could be just a normal person. Or um, this person feel like a lot of people are going to gossip about it or internet or social media or newspapers or, um, or their families or friends not going to accept you or their culture, things. So there's a definitely a lot of things. This person has a fear, by the way. And they're self-sabotaging this connection. And they definitely also put you too in this situation. It's a very stuck energy because this person is not making a move. This person is still waiting and like, I don't know, this person is stuck. Their higher self, your higher self is guiding you like, everything is going to be okay. It's okay. You need to work on your things. But this person is definitely not doing the work here. I feel like you are, you know, two steps ahead from this person in healing and processing and all that stuff, especially if this is your soulmate or twin flame. Now let's see what's more about this connection. We need to know that I'm going to move towards, um, yeah, forgiving and learning. So there's a definitely a lot of lessons here. Like this person needs to learn the lessons. You need to forgive this person. You deserve love. Yeah, this person retreat. They are definitely disconnected. And you also need to take a break right now because this person is not ready. They're not ready. Yeah, because of religious factor. What I told you. You both have a different beliefs, culture, or background, or whatever the difference is, is here. But this person's higher self is telling them that they give this relationship a chance. Try. Or they may be wanting to come back again for another chance. So what's happening here is that they will come back. There's a reconciliation here. So I feel like you're working on yourself. You need to keep working on yourself. You deserve love. Don't settle for less. Let them do whatever they want to do because right now they're not ready. And they need a lot of healing. They need to forgive themselves. They need to get out of this energy because not node is, is definitely a destiny. Their destiny is calling them, but they're not acting on it. They're not. For some of you, this is someone that you did not met yet right now because this is your destiny. You're moving, you're moving toward that person. Now, let's see what this person's um, message towards you. Let's see what this person want to say to you. Their messages towards you. We have, I wish you were mine. If there's a third party, this person is getting over that. Like they're still stuck in that third party. They can't get out of this marriage or relationship. Because they're in love with you. But they're also not doing anything. Like they are self-sabotaging this. You already know that you are the one. Yeah, you are the one. This person already maybe told you. Or they maybe have this energy like you are the one. Hey baby, I think I want to marry you. Bruno Mars song here. So this could be, yeah, this is someone who want to marry you. But they feel like it's not possible. Yeah, this is um, this is someone who want, who will marry you with an art note here. Like you will have a commitment with this person because this is your destiny. Or this is uh, their high, you know your higher self taking you to this person. Let's see. I think about you all the time. Yeah, they 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 just just in the all in their head. They're not taking action. They're self sabotaging this because of the fears. Calling, texting you very soon. Let me see what this person messages are. I am coming very soon from your next lover. So a lot of you, this is your next lover. Yeah, because I feel like you deserve love. So it's up to you because you may be attracting our, your divine masculine, your true partner, your destined partner. Maybe this is someone that you're not mean to be with. So I'm, I'm strongly feeling two energies here. One is that you're dealing with and other is something, someone coming towards you. Yeah. We have, I need to sort things out before I can come to you. Yeah, this person is definitely going through their own issues. And I'm not, as a reader, I'm not going to tell you that you need to wait for anyone. No. It's a self-sabotaging. This person self-sabotaging this connection. I'm shy. P.S. You know me. Yeah. Hello there. So this person definitely feel like if you're available there, if you're still watching them, if you still want to be with this person, they want to know that if you're still there. Are you moved on? Are you moving on? They want to know that. They may be going to text you or call you from unknown number I'm hearing. 
we also have I saw a dream getting married with you. This person definitely have a dream or want to marry you, but they can't. They're, they're in their own way. Someday I will be your man or woman. Yeah, someday. I mean, when this day will come. So this person is not sure about this connection. They're not. This person has a deep fears. And this is coming from their, obviously, it's, it's wounded child and wounded um, background or whatever. So always don't blame the person. Don't don't blame the person because I believe when someone is wounded, they definitely they're processing through that because we have a crown, a lot of healing. This person gone through healing. Let's see now. Anything else we can figure it out about this person. Okay. So we have letter J, number one and eight. We have an ill jail. I got jail. I don't know why I said that. I'm seeing triple one, so you could be seeing it. We also have number eight. We have a unicorn. So this person and the connection is definitely connected with the higher sources. It's a very cosmic connection. Yeah, look at this, this uh, Grim Reaper. This is a skull here with this angel wings here. So this person could be Scorpio. But I'm strongly feeling this is an intense healing connection here. Intense healing. Like Charon. It's definitely... 8th house energy here, like intense 8th house energy, or you both have a heavy Scorpio in their chart. We have this Ganesha here, so this is a very spiritual, again, of spiritual connection. You could be from India, or this person could be. We have this elephant here, so yeah, this is definitely a long journey that you have dealt with this person for a long time. You, you may be coming out of a long journey, and you're moving towards a next level. We have this football, so this person could be a football player, or play some type of um, sports. We have this rose quartz and we also have this rose quartz. For me, it's like different thing here. So yeah, there is definitely a romance here. This is a spiritual and romantic connection. So a lot of you, you could be healing your heart. Yeah, we have this clock here. So I feel like the time is over. Are you, this person feel like the time is getting over and they don't have a time. They're not prepared for this. Uh, this could be a missed opportunity. Yeah, police and jail. There definitely something with the police and jail here connected with it. We also have a Saturn. So this is a very spiritual and long journey that you created with this person. It's very intense. For some of you, this person is your karmic you're dealing with. You could be coming out of a karmic relationship or this person is in a karmic relationship right now. We have the fish. Um, could be a Pisces energy, but I'm also picking this person could do swimming. Um, there's something related with the ocean and beaches here. I'm also getting this person could have a child already. Yeah, I'm seeing this girl here, baby girl, or you could have it. You know, I'm also seeing this rose here. So, or maybe there's an age gap between you and this person. With this rose here, this person is in love with you. This is a romantic feeling, blossoming love here. Um, my cat. So this person could have a cat lover. This person could have a fishes in their house, like, you know, my cat. This person maybe call you as, as like my cat, and I also see that cat's here. So some of you, your higher self is your cat, like def are your, your guides are your, 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 if you lost a cat, definitely this, your cat is definitely guiding you and you may be seeing your cat's dreams or dogs because I'm seeing this bone here. We have a leaf here, so definitely uh, a new future here ahead for you. With a joker here, this is like a full card for me. So a lot of you, you're preparing yourself for a new beginning. You don't want to fool yourself anymore or waiting for this person maybe. Or maybe this person is coming to take a risk with you. We have a spider. Yeah, this person is stuck in their own way. You could be seeing a lot of spiders, fishes, uh, a cat are crossing the path with it. Uh, I'm getting this. There could be a long distance relationship here because we have this airplane. There's a distance here. Travel involved here. We also have this coin. So this person may be right now working or traveling right now for their work or business. We have a crown, so a lot of you, this is a very spiritual and very healing and intense connection here, magical, cosmic connection. You met this person for a reason. This was a spiritual connection. You both need to heal. We have a star and heart. Yeah, this is definitely a spiritual connection to heal your heart. Or this person need to heal a heart. I feel like a lot of you, you're coming out of this karmic journey. It's been a long journey for you, so you don't want to involve with this situation anymore. Or you want to see that where this relationship is heading to. But I'm seeing a lot of you, you already heal your heart and now you're moving and ready for a new beginning with someone else. Yeah, Cupid's arrow here with the heart here. Some of you could be ready for new love or open for new love. But I feel this person loves you. This person has feelings for you. But the problem is that they could be right now in a jail 
or they could have some legal matters or karmic situation that they're in that they can't run away or escape from it because of the Saturn here. They're definitely stuck in some situation that they can't change it. But for others of you, they are self-sabotaging this connection. Like they're not ready for this. They're loving you from afar. I saw the parrot here. So this person is definitely... You could be seeing a lot of parrots here also. So this is a sign that this person is missing you. This person may be telepathically connected with you, but they don't have this, this courage and strength to come forward and tell you that they, what they want to be with you. So this person is definitely not ready for this, to, to, to move forward un, until they're not ready for this, until they're not healed themselves from the situation they're going through. Or others of you, this is someone that you're attracting. You have a destiny. You met this person for a reason. And there is a purpose here for both of you to meeting this person and awaken each, each other. You met this person. Maybe this is your twin flame or soulmate. But there's a lot of karma here between you and this person that you both need to heal. And it's not easy. It's not an easy journey with the Saturn here and the time here. It's all divine timing. It's all, it's moving very slow. It's up to you. You want to stay or not in this connection. It's all up to you. Where this relationship is heading to, it's, it's all about healing, it's all about learning lessons, it's all about uh, processing, blossoming, healing your heart, loving yourself, self-love, self-discovery, your life purpose, everything all involved in this, in this situation. Could be traveling for your work and business, traveling to see this person, but uh, I'm also seeing that spiritual awakening too. Uh, so there's a, a still a lot of uh, transformation needed here and still a lot of time needed here that when this relationship is going to be. And for others of you, I'm seeing that there's someone else coming into your life. You're attracting. New love is too here. Hey, group number two, welcome on your reading. If you choose the key here, let's clear the previous energy here. So let's see what's going on in your connection, all about this connection, your person can feelings. If you notice that, you know, there's a 33 here, master number here. So this person could be 33 or you could be. I also feel like things will unlock for you in, in the age of 33. 3 plus 3 is a 6 number. So it's harmony, it's balance. So a lot of you, I feel like key to this relationship is, is in your hand. You can unlock anything with this person. I feel like a lot of you, you already unlock this connection. You unlock this person's heart. Let's see from this. What do we have? We have number 12, Whispers. So I feel like you already know that what's going on in your connection with this person. You already divine is uh, whispering in your ears, telling you that what's happening, baby. Okay, you maybe already know that uh, what this person is feeling for you. This person could be giving you signs, the keywords I'm hearing with this key here. They may be giving you the, some keywords, whispering, you know, like giving you the hints. You also need to get some. You know, like some type of hints here from the universe and divine. They're guiding you. Listen to that. Because I'm seeing a lot of synchronicity in your reading. You may be getting a lot of signs, symbols, names, reminding you of this person. We have the fifth house. Let's see what's going on in this person's life. Fifth house. And yeah, there's a lot of passion here. This person could be a Leo. Anything in their chart is Leo. Like sun, moon, or rising. Could be north node or south node in Leo. This person is a create oh, and Virgo. Okay, this person could have a fifth house Virgo energy. So what's going on in their life? Could be Aries, bottom of the deck. Um, yeah, fifth house, passion. This is a romantic lover. This is someone that want to date you. You could have already dated this person and this person has still a lot of passion for you, desire for you. This could be someone that who is a parent of your child. You're asking about, are you are, so fifth house, this person really want to date you. Look at this, a lot of fun, enjoyment, excitement, romance. Um, this person really want to wine and dine you. This person could be an actor, artist, because we have a creative in uh, industry here. Performer, entertainer, creativity, a fashion designer. Um, this is a definitely a fair here. Like this person really want to date you, want to be with you. They want to date you, honey. There's a romance here. This, this is a romantic feeling. But key is, is in your hand. You can definitely unlock this relationship. Everything is in your hand. Or maybe in this person's hand. Because you're ready to date this person. We have the Virgo. This is definitely the alchemist. Okay. So I feel like relationship is changing. This person is locking, unlocking themselves to date you. For some of you, this person is going to contact you very soon. And it's, it is going to be a whisper. It's going to be a secret. If this is someone who's in a public eye or artist or some sort, or they could have a fan falling, um, some type of an entertainer or performer. 
So they are definitely going to be a keep it secret. It's a hush hush. I'm getting some type of secrets I'm getting. And this person also have a secret desire to be with you if you are in a public eye, if you have a platform. We have a Virgo alchemist. This is definitely someone that you met every day. They have a routine. This person is very busy. This could be someone that you're working with. They definitely want a healthy romance with you. They want a healthy relationship with you, with this energy. This could be someone you, you met on, uh, you know, like, in a job, in an office, or in a gym. Or this could be your doctor. <laughs> and you could be nurse. I don't know why I'm saying that, but I'm seeing you. Wherever you go every day, this person is definitely there and want to meet you. This person want to see you every day, want to date you every day. Yeah, this person definitely want to change this relationship. Alchemist, like everything is in this person's hand though. This person could be um, a ritualistic, you know, they, they have some, perform some rituals, herbs. They take care of their body. They, they, they take care of their physique. They, they definitely go gym. They're definitely smart because they have to take care of their figure. If this patient is a model, actor, and performer. So... Or you are about to meet this person very soon. Let's see. But if you already know them, obviously you want to know that. What's what's happening in this connection? What's happening in this connection? Seven of Wands. Ten of Cups. Eight of Pentacles. Reverse. Yeah. So, and we have the Queen of Swords. Reverse. Oh, goodness. Four of Swords. Five of Pentacles. This person left you out in the cold. And King of Wands. Reverse. Yeah, this is someone who's a narcissistic. Um... Uh, they have these capabilities like a player energy here king of wands here definitely a leo energy aries leo sagittarius uh, someone who's very attractive very charming uh, they could have a dating history okay with the knight of wands king of wands reverse here this is not a good energy this person left you out in the cold they left you out in the cold uh, they ghosted you you ghosted them maybe definitely there's no contact here you're not talking to this person uh, or this person definitely does not want to date right now because they already have some experience in the love and they're hurt. Three of Wands reverse. A lot of you, you give up on this person. You're like, no, there could be a distance here. Maybe that's why. So you give up on this person. You're like, no, things are not moving forward. You don't have a, you don't see the future with this person. Or maybe you don't see this offer is coming from this person with the Ace of Cups. This person fell in love with you, but there are some restrictions here. There is a definitely self-sabotaging here between you and this person. There's also no clear communication between you and this person I'm hearing. There's a lot of misunderstandings here. Look, Eight of Pentacles reverse here. This is someone that things were not working with you. Or this per uh, we're, things did not work in your favor. You wanted to work with this person, but it was definitely one-sided effort. This person left you out in the cold or vice versa. You left them behind and you're not talking to them anymore. You're not giving them energy anymore. You're not talking to this, this person anymore. Uh, this person is definitely in this not in a high vibration right now with the king of wands. This person maybe have this problem like they want to date or, or they want to have a sexual connection. They want to have a physical connection, but the problem is they don't want to commit. So maybe that's why you, you don't want, you're like, no, it's not working. The queen of swords reverse here, you harshly, harshly, I'm getting, cut them out from your life. You, you don't want to see them in their direction. You both are not ready. You're not, you are your own way and they, they are their own way. You both are doing your own stuff. You both are like, mm, I don't think so, it's working. I don't know, things are, can happen between you and this person. So there's a definitely a lot of mis, mis, misunderstanding and miscommunication here between you and this person. But I feel like you definitely put your hard work here, but this person never tell you the truth, so you definitely cut them out. I feel like this is someone that you're like, nah, this is someone that you're like, no, I don't think so. Things can work between me and this person. I'm done with this person. I don't want to see this person's face. I don't want to see. You have resentment. You have a anger. You're frustrated the way things happen with this person. Uh, I also feel this could be your ex-husband with the Ten of Cups. Like you could have a family with this person. You could have a divorce with this person. So this person want to come back to you because of a family. But with the Seven of Wands, you're like, no, you block this person. I'm hearing. Even though this person makes you happiest person in the world, you still block this person. You're like, no, I don't want to deal with this anymore because it's hurting me. It's like this person crossed the boundaries with, it, with you and they know that. So you block them or they blocked you. There's a definitely a block energy here. But this could be blockage coming from the family, like your family or their family is in the way. 
so you can't be together for others of you you could be you both could be uh you could both could be single parents or you both have a families or there could be some family blockages here like they don't want to accept you they can't approve you together there's definitely some family involvement here i'm also seeing rainbow so you could be from rainbow tr uh, tribe here so maybe this is why that your families are not going to approve you or your sexuality but there's a lot of passion here like there's a lot of um i'm getting like um energy of um there's a definitely a lot of drive here like this person well, how to tell you like they want to date you like they have a lot of passion for you they, they 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 have a romantic feelings this person definitely could be putting some type of rituals on you like they want to attract you They could be whispering and gossiping about you, like, yeah, they want to know that what's going on in your life, because you block them, right? And they want to know that what's going on in your life. Where are you? This person could be watching you from afar. I like you. Yeah, this is someone who, wa who likes you. They really do like you. They really want to marry you. Oh, why I said marry? They want to date you, by the way. We have a photograph. This person watching your pictures on social media. For some of you, if you're single watching this video, or you could be going through some situation, this person could be already married. They could have already commitment here. They don't want to fall in love, but they're already in love. Because they know that they're already in a family. They have a partner. But they're watching you secretly. They're gossiping about through their friends or family. They, wanna, they, they may be talking to their friends about you. Like they like you. They're watching, they may be watching your pictures on social media. This is someone who's definitely watching you. They maybe have some saves pictures in their cell phone I'm getting or tab or computer. So they're watching you. They really like you. They want to date you, whoever this person is. Yeah, this is someone definitely attractive to you. Like they have a lot of passion for you. A lot of passion. Cupid Zero. This is someone who's falling in love with you. Even though they, they don't want to, but they did. This is unexpected love too for some of you. I'm also getting like with the whispers here, I'm getting like there could be some whispers here about you. Like, and you're like, what? Um, maybe this person friends whispers and gossip. No, no, whispers in front of you. And you're like, what? Because people are going to like, what? Look at this. She, she's the one. She's the one that he was talking about. And he's, he's the one. He's the one she, your friends are talking about. Like, you know, that is there. So there's a definitely a whispering here. Whenever you come in front of this person, um, their friends, their colleagues, or whoever know about you, they talk about it. People are definitely whispering in this person's ear, like, you need to go, you need to ask her, you need to ask um, him, go for it, okay? So there's a Cupid's arrow. This is definitely a Sagittarius energy. I'm also getting Leo here. So strong fire sign here. But what's stopping this person is maybe their commitment or they could be have some uh, family blockage here, like they feel like it's not going to... Uh, accept them or they could be feel like you both are on a different page right now if this is someone that you already know uh, you're asking about this person still like you watching your pictures on social media don't feel like you block them no they're making fake profiles they're watching you um they could be add to you as a fake uh, profile a friend or colleague this could be a cupid's arrow definitely have faith love is coming this person is really ha hopeful about this that you will be together again yeah we have the phoenix so this person could be a scorpio yeah they definitely um they really want to rekindle a new phase they really want to develop this connection to a next level because um yeah this person want to date you honey or if you are already dating this person and you want to know that where this relationship is heading to i feel like still maybe there's still some process here like your families are not approving this or there could be some blockages here like you both are not ready for this because you both are working on your career you both want to build something first then you're going to settle down maybe if you are living in a relationship with your girlfriend and boyfriend and for others of you this is someone that you never dated but they want to date you yeah we have a complicated i told you number 11 number 11 could be significant um this person is your divine counterpart for some of you yeah, this, this is very complicated, honey. This is very complicated, love. Because I feel there's involvement of other people here. There's an interference of other people's culture, background, your differences. This is a very complicated love. 
We have number 17, focus. This person is focused on you. Another architect. We also have architect. This person's focused on you. They really want, their focus is you. They want to date you, whoever this person is. It's complicated. Maybe you are in a relationship or they could be. We also have the warrior number two. Yeah, look at this. Whenever I see this card, I feel like it's the Aries energy. Um, they could be fire, moon, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Look how beautiful and attractive this person is. We have a fifth house and this, this warrior. This person is very attractive. If this is a guy, this person is very handsome, good looking, charming. Like this person has a lot of suitors. And they are a player, by the way. They are. But if this is a female, she is number five. Look at this. High priestess of fire. Definitely a fire sign. Aries Leo Sag. Very attractive. Very seductive. Very sensual. Very um, seducing. Like anybody can date this person. Anybody want to be with this person. Girl or guy. But I feel like you both are power couple. Look at this. If you will come together, you will be the power couple. It's like talent. It's like beauty. This person could be 25 years old or 17 or 11. Does not have to be. Or you met this person this way. I'm also getting 2, 5, 8, 7. I'm also getting triple 1 is important here. You could be seeing a lot of signs here. This could be the life partner for this person. You both are very attractive to each other. Yeah, choices. So this person has a choice. And you have choices in love. But I feel this person has it. Look at this person's body. Like this is definitely an athlete. They could be athletic. They could be in a sport. This person will have a very like this huge chest this this um i'm getting abs here this person is very attractive they could have blonde hair or dark hair this person's jawline everything is perfect like the leo energy fifth house oh my god very very attractive but this person sees you very attractive like you both are a perfect match for each other power couple but they have options honey it's not easy this person need to make a choice here like who they want to be with if they're already with someone they need to make a choice if this is a choice between their family and you, they need to make a choice. If this is a choice between um, their career or you, they definitely need to make a choice here. For some of you, I'm hearing that you have a two options, like two people are interested in you. Let's see. Yeah, look at this deception and whisper. So I strongly feel if you're working with this person or, um, or you know who this person is, people are going to whisper it. Like this is, she's the one, he's the one. So they maybe have fear of gossip. The people are going to gossip about it. If you're working together or this person has some type of um, public figure or something. If they have a, some type of fan following or subscriptions. Look at this, we have taking steps. So this person wants you to take a step toward them. You're definitely moving toward this person. You're on the right path, I'm hearing, for you guys. If you're dating them, um, you're definitely on the right path. And for a lot of you, you are taking step toward this person very soon. Maybe you are going to make a first move toward this person or you need to. We also have great gratitude. Yeah. So I feel like you're this, this, this very grateful person. You're a nature lover. You're very connected with the nature and aligned with it. And this person really love about you. Like you're very grateful. You, you are also going to be very grateful being with this person. I'm also seeing you could be loud, seeing a lot of birds here. So this is reminding you of this person. Whenever you hear the, you know, like whispering of the birds here. So this is talking about like this person want to talk about you. But there's also gossip here. I'm, hearing, I'm definitely seeing this relationship is going to be a gossip for a lot of people. Or there's a people already gossiping about it. Or this person has a fear like people are going to gossip about it. So the only thing is stopping them, this person. So they may be trying to be this playing like a dude and, uh, you know, like the player type of a person. They have this personality, like they already do this way. So maybe they have this. We also have this um, new sportive connection. So a lot of you, uh, this is, could be a just new started connection that you, you started with this person. Or there could be some new uh, coming in your way. If this person is not going to make a move. Because I feel like you, let's see. What's happening in this connection? What this person is, where this relationship is heading to? What, what's going to happen? We have a compassion. We have a healing, prosperity, happiness, and we have the truth. So this person is going to tell you that, this truth. They're going to reveal the truth if they're hiding their feelings. And they may be, you, this is someone who's mirroring you. This is also someone that you may be attracting right now. This is that person. They like you mutually. 
This is someone who is going to make you happy. You could be seeing a lot of butterflies. So you're going to be extremely happy when this person is going to reach out to you because this person is bringing prosperity in your life and happiness too. You're, you may be going through right now healing and being compassionate. Universe is saying that be compassionate with this person when they reach out to you. Yeah, you definitely have this energy of healing, compassionate. I feel like you have this great gratitude. If, especially if you're a female or feminine energy here watching this. You're happy, go lucky. You're happy in your every circumstances. You don't, no matter what, you're always happy and prosper. You're grateful for what you have. So maybe this person, this, this thing love about you. You could be a white and black couple. Um, there's a compassion and healing. That's what this person love about you. And you're moving toward this healing and compassionate energy and prosperity together with this person. So this person is going to reveal the truth to you that like they want to be with you. This person is also like, a, I'm getting rich and wealthy. Prosper in their life. They have a successful career, I'm hearing. Yeah, stay optimistic about your love life. Express your love. And we have soulmate. Yeah, this is your soulmate. You're dealing with your soulmate. And this person is going to express their love to you very soon. And you're, very, you're going to be happy with this person. Because there's a lot of fun here with the fifth house. There's a lot of fun here, healing too, and compassionate energy here, because this is your soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate, whoever this is you're asking about, this is your soulmate. But there are some family issues that this person needs to heal, so there could be a red flags because of their family, because of the different background, their friends or family or people, colleague, I don't know, what they are going to gossip about it. Don't worry, F them, F them, don't care about them, okay? This is not your problem. Let them be. Now let's see what is their messages towards you. We have, don't worry, you always have my support. Yo, this person is going to be supportive to you. Yo, I'm hearing yo. Wishing you were here with me right now. This person could be from distance from you right now. Sorry, these letters are definitely... I wish we lived together. I miss you. This person is missing you. I'm tired. Can't let you go. This person is stuck on you. They can't move on. You may be doing, don't like me anymore, but I still do. So this is definitely someone that you may be not in a contact with. You stop talking to them. You, you cut them out. You took your ba energy back. I think about you all the time. This is someone who's definitely heavily thinking about you. I wish you were mine. I love you. This person loves you and we, we already have I like you. Yeah, this person really do genuinely like you and love you, whoever this person is. You could be already dating this person, okay? And for others of you, you're going to date this person. Like, they want to date you. Like, mm -mm. But they, they could have a fear of other people's, to be honest. I'm preparing to give you a surprise. So yeah, they definitely reach out to you unexpectedly, I'm hearing. They're going to confess um, this relationship unexpectedly. Their feelings unexpectedly, I'm hearing. We have, you put smile on my face whenever I see you. Yeah, there's something about your energy here that this person loves about it. Codependent relationship, time out. So maybe this is something that this person is feeling like left out in the cold. They feel like everything is over between you and them. Like you're not, yeah, this person is spying and stalking you, I'm hearing. They're definitely watching you from afar. Let's see, anything else, like spirit names, mail letters, anything else, let's see. So we have SQ, we have O, E, double O, triple O, so you could be seeing triple one, 11, 11 is the important number here, so this could be your twin flame, a soulmate, higher level of soulmate, 11, 11 here. We have, you got this. This person is going to send you a message. They're going to express their love to you very soon. They're ready. Yeah, oh my God. How much love this person have for you? I love you. I love you. I like you. This person, look guys, this is true love. This is divine romance of a lifetime. So you both love each other. Look, this person is definitely love you. 
love you. Look at this Cupid's arrow. They're going to send you a message very soon. Unlock. Look at this. We have the lock. Key. We have the key, and you have the lock. So you have the key to this person. Lock. Like you, you unlock this person's heart. This person's heart is locked on you only. You have the key to this person's heart, by the way. That's what I'm hearing. We also have this um, love you, this Cupid's arrow. So they're already in love with you. Maybe they never expressed it, but they will now. Yeah, this person is... Uh, I'm seeing something with the birds here. This person could be a singer. They have a good good voice or they could be sending you some type of... You know, you could be telepathically singing a song or, you know, listening some songs or they could be posting something. They could be already a singer. We also have this angel heart here. Beings with a heart here. So this is a very protective love. Angels are protecting this connection. We have the moon and star. So this person could be a Muslim or you could be. This is the moon and star. So this is a very special connection and intuitive too. You could be seeing this person in your dreams. Yeah, this person cried away. You are. Oh. You may be in a separation. You may be not talking to each other. You both cried for each other. But this person is crying more now. They're sad. Things did not go well. Yeah, we have the mermaid here. So you are this mermaid for this person. Out of this world. Unique, beautiful, attractive. You could be Pisces. You are this muse for this person. We also have angels watching over me. So this person's and your connection is protected by the angels. I strongly feel here. Especially if you lost a child, then your child, your baby is definitely watching you. We also have this leaf here. This person definitely want to create something with you. Yeah, fix the heart. This person could be drinking a lot to fix their heart, broken heart. They feel like you left them. You're not going to come back again. They maybe feel like it's over. They, this person is deeply hurt, I can tell you here. So something related with the London here or bus here. This person may be coming back to you. They want to, they maybe want to meet you somewhere. There could be a distance here. Yeah, we have the cat here. This person feel like you're very cute. We also have this um, dollar sign here. So maybe this person choose their work over you. They could be working hard on their money to forget you, I'm hearing. We also have a fish, Pisces energy again. They want a new chance. This person is a gem and they feel like you're the gem. This person... You have this person heart, to be honest, and they have your heart. Five of Pentacles, yeah, again, left out in the cold. For some of you, this person does not have good enough money, so they feel like you're not going to choose them. They're not on your level or standard. But I'm seeing this person definitely left out in the cold. They feel like you ghosted them. You're not, you don't care about them. Or maybe they, they did, whatever they did to you, they're getting their karma now. They're in love. They just fell in love unexpectedly. They don't want you to be in love, but they now they did. So you walked away. You're doing yourself. You 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 are definitely creating your own life. You shed the tear for this person in the past, or maybe if you still you're in a separation, but this person is in love with you right now. It's like you're mirroring each other. This person is going to express and tell you the truth very soon. But be compassionate with this person when they approach you. I'm hearing from universe, because this person deeply, genuinely love you. They know that they hurt you, and now they are hurting because five of pentacles came up twice. So whatever they did to you, now they are receiving it. Their karma. They're missing you. They really do. This person genuinely love and like you, whoever this person is, okay? So this is your reading. I'm going to see you in the next video. Bye. Hey, group number three. Finally, the people who choose this house. Let's see. Number four is important here. So let's see what your person is feeling about, thinking about you, what's happening in this connection. For some of you, this is someone um, rooted in reality, okay? And this is someone who is very introverted, this is like feeling like a home to you or this person feel towards you like you are the home to for this person. This person also want to build something with you in the future. Maybe they want to create a family. This person could be already, this person is very family oriented. They could be a cancer. We also have a soul tree number 21. Yeah, this is someone who is your soul tribe. Someone that, uh, your soulmate. You definitely have a same soul tribe. And that's why this person recognizing you that you definitely have some soul connection. You could have a same roots. Again, I'm seeing tree here and we have the house. So this is talking about same roots, same values, same tradition. This person really want to create something with you. You could be 34 or this person could be or 43 years. This person life um, date of birth could be 21, 4, I'm getting 14, 12. Now let's see what's going on in this person life right now.
what's happening in your connection this person maybe already have a family like could be in a relationship but this is someone who is a soul tree like you already connected with this person on a higher level on a soul level i'm getting let's see now what's going on in this person's life right now so we have a neptune dreams yeah and we have venus love oh my god this is romantic love this person is dreaming about you they are romantically in love with you this is like a dream come true with this neptune with his dreams and love this is a dreamy love this person is imaginative creative they are in love with you madly deeply they could be seeing you in their dreams and they don't know why and venus this is to love definitely this person has a luxurious house i'm getting they could be connected with a the luxury they're very creative they could be a poet singer actor like they they do something in their house uh, as a creativity work playing the drums music instruments or something they do that in their house i get this is someone who's really in love with you it's really imaginative and dreamy love this is also someone that wow they're in love they feel like it's a dream it's a dream like how it can be possible how it can exist in this world this type of love i'm also seeing the world here so this person could be far from you i'm hearing this person has a farmhouse or this person is going to invite you in their farmhouse like they want to meet you this person maybe want to date you secretly are you maybe already dating this person so we have a knight of wands yeah we have the knight of cups reverse hmm be careful if this is someone who's reaching out to you and yeah this is a very um nine of wands six of swords there's a distance here six of wands reverse here and we have the strength reverse four of wands and empress this person could be already married so be careful if you know that who this this person is they could be already married so be careful because they are very attractive to you they want to have this uh, secret love affair with you because they really they feel like you're their muse you're their muse with the empress here and we have venus already empress so they really want to get you pregnant they may be going to give you a house are you maybe already living with this person in a same house living in the farm house or this could be a secret from this person wife or husband they are living if this is not this person does not want to marry okay for some of you you are da dating this person i told you like if you're dating this person currently and you want to know that where this relationship is heading so, so a lot of uh, fire here so first of all i want to talk about aries leo sagittarius energy is popping up here we also have a taurus and libra with the venus too neptune is a pisces we have a strength leo could be air sign and we have a water too so what i'm getting here that with neptune and venus your neptune or venus are conjunct or this person's chart so they're very imaginative and dreamy and you are this muse for this person so they're going to treat you like this muse putting you on pedestal they want to have this affair with you but they could be already married if they're married then this is a warning for you but if you are going to get involved with this person it's up to you but this person is already married and this person has a family we have another four here so this person could have a, a maybe um a baby mama in the house but they're not going to take you in the same house where the baby mama is they're going to give you another house with a four of wands here yeah so be careful you may they, this person maybe give you another house in a different country a different state they afford it because i feel this person is rich but somehow with the knight of cups you are here this is someone could be a player because i'm getting with this uh knight of cups reverse here and knight of wands so they they're very passionate about you they towards you this is driven by their passion there's a lust here there's a desire here there is this this love imaginative love nothing is in reality this person is 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 like their wand is active they're turned on by you so some of you this person's more goal is is just to fuck you with the empress energy here because they really want to make you pregnant be careful 
There could be an age gap between you and this person. You could be already a mother. It, it could be possible you could be already a mother and this person is younger than you and they have this desire to be with, to be with you and they will come back. But with this Knight of Cups reverse here, this is not romantic. I feel this is, this is going to be codependent. This is go going to be a codependent. So be, be careful. Be careful. If you're already dating this person, this person's intentions are definitely to put you on pedestal. You're going to get pregnant. Be careful. Because I'm strongly feeling if you're not going to use a protection here, there's a pregnancy here. But if you, I'm not seeing this person is, um, has planning for future or marriage or something like that. Or proposal. No, 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 no. If you're expecting it, it's not. Because if you're currently dating this person, it's just a dreamy love that you're you're passion, doing passionate sex. You're just falling in love. Nine of Wands, this person could be not open up to you emotionally because they are not available, obviously. They want to be with you because of their healing. Relationship with you is a healing. They could still have some type of past issues that they're dealing with it. Or others of you, this person is married. They are another commitment, Okay. So this could be a third party situation that you're asking about and you want to know that if they're going to choose you or their, their, their third party, then the question answer is that you are this person love and muse, okay? You are this third party for this person, this secret affair, right? With their empress here. You, this person really love you and want to be with you, but they can't leave their marriage. Look at this, four of wands and nine of wands. They can't leave their marriage because it is going to give them, you know, the bad impression in their community. Okay, and also they can't propose you, they can't marry you because their family or their tradition is not going to accept you. If this is a third party and you know it already, so this person is guarded up, they can't do that. So don't, don't fool by this person's words, okay, but they have a desire for you, they want to marry, they, they could be going to keep you secret, this relationship is going to be a secret, uh, it's very dreamy, obviously. You may be going to travel to see this person or they will come travel to see you. With this swan energy, this person definitely this person is putting you on pedestal and you are this person muse. And you will always be this be this person muse, okay? Always. So they will always come and go into your life. Come and go, come and go. But they're not going to leave this relationship, their family. If they have a family issues, they may be going to marry in a family. If they have this type of a tradition, because I feel like their family, their community is not going to accept you. So they're not, they can't propose you officially. They can't marry you officially in front of the people, in front of the society, in front of their family. They can't. So it's a corruption, right? So they're going to keep it, it's like a corrupt. So the, their, their image is going to be corrupt in front of the society and people. So they don't want to do it. So with the nine of wands, they're going to always protect you or maybe always going to put you in a prison or you will be closed off in the house because uh, and always waiting for this person that when this person will come to you. With the strength reverse here, this is definitely not a romantic love. I feel this is a lust. This is also very dreamy love and very imaginative. So if you're going to fall in love with this person, then it's up to you, your choice. Otherwise, move on from this situation and say no to this person because you have a free will to say yes and no to this person. If you will let down your gods, if you will let down your gods and you're going to feel like compassion by this because this person is going to love you unconditionally. They're going to love inch every inch of your body with this Venus and Neptune. And if you really want to be going to be like this sensitive and submissive, so they, they're like, wow, I want this type of person. They, they're very passionate about you. So if they did not reach out to yet, they are going to be. But be careful. This person is definitely have not intentions to marry you or to offer you commitment. If they're already married, uh, if there's a distance here, okay, so this person will always come and go. So they maybe have other tradition than you. They have other values. They could have their own house. So they, they definitely is not looking for that. So let me tell you. So don't be fooled by this person. It's not like this person does not love you. They are in love. They are in love. But if you're looking for commitment and marriage, I don't see that. It's happening with this person. Yeah, mask and healing heart. This person definitely wearing a mask here. They could be Gemini. They want to come towards you because of maybe they want to heal their heart. You have this healing energy with this Empress and Six of Swords. You could be an empath and this person could be a narcissistic, by the way. But this person is a player. With the Knight of Wands and Knight of Cups reverse, they're a player. They're very attractive too. They're very charming. If this is a guy, they're very attractive. There's a lot of, this person could have a lot of options. But this person feel like you are the one. Like you have this privilege that they're choosing you and they want to be with you. 
I know, bullshit. But you have a soul tree, some type of soul connection with this person. So this person definitely want to be with you. And having this pull towards you, if you did not met this person yet, are... Now let's see what's happening in this connection. We have healthy choices. So you need to make a healthy choice here. I'm warning you, but again, this is your life. You can do whatever you want to do. You maybe feel off guard when this person is, because this person is going to sweep you out of your feet. The way this person is going to be very romantic, it's going to be a romantic love. You're going to always feel like up in the sky with this person. But in reality, it's something different. So you have a healthy choice. We also have a seduction, yes, and both. So there's a seduction here. This person feel like you are the muse. They want to they want to have they have this attraction towards you. They want to flirt with you. They want to date you. They want to hook up with you for some of you. Be careful. There's a sweet temptation. You are the sweet temptation for this person. There's a third party interference here. What I told you. Be careful. This person could be a boss, a leader, and you are the muse of this person. Both. This person could be far from you. Uh, they will come to you. This could be someone that you're already manifesting. Be careful. Because this person still could have a moving on issues or closure issues with someone. They could be still in the process of releasing someone in their life. We have a girl with a snake. What I told you, narcissistic and empath. Be careful. Because you have this tendency to attract these people. This is very attractive, very romantic, very charming love. But it's all not glitter, it's not gold. Be careful. This is very glittery. This is very romantic. This is very passionate, very sexual and sensual and sweet temptation. But in reality, it's painful because this person can't give you what you deserve. If you're looking for a home, if you're looking for a family, if you're looking for children, if you're looking for valid and official connection, if you're looking for official relationship in front of the society and people, then this is going to be always a secret. And nobody deserves that, right? So girl with a snake, be careful. It's a temptation here. Like this person is already want to seduce you or they see you as a seducer. Like they will like... They may be going to come towards you. I'm definitely seeing it's, it's a long distance connection here. This person is far from you. Or they will always come to see you, come to meet you. This person is crying, uh, coming towards you very soon, I'm getting. They already have uh, this plan. They're watching you. Waiting for the right time to hit the shot. Yeah, we have the beauty, number 40. So you could be very beautiful. Look at this beauty, this rose. So you are this temptation for this person. Yeah, this person wants very, very attractive to your body. Very, very attractive to your beauty. They feel like they can fulfill all that love affair or things that they always imagine. Because they're not happy in their marriage life or home life. You are this distraction for this person. You are this attraction. This sweet temptation and healing energy for this person. Yeah, be careful. I'm getting like, this person could be a 40 years old or you could be. You have this beauty and this person want to, I'm hearing like, pluck you if this is, you are the flower. Yeah, we have fragment number 15. So this is a very, yeah, this person is stuck in their way. They're, they still have a fear maybe you're going to reject them. We have an honesty here. Yeah, this person is uh, burning the passion for you. They have a hidden desire to be with you, but they're trapped in their fear, like if you're going to accept them or not. Or maybe this is you, you're going to be trapped. This, is, this person is going to, you know, spread this trap in, in front of you, and you're going to be like, this person is honest, but they're not, so trust your intuition. Now, we have a rigid. So be careful, because, again, it's not what you are seeing. It's not what you are getting. There's a lot of things happening here behind the scene. We have a conflict. This could be someone that you have a conflict with. I'm seeing some boat here. So maybe this person could be working on the ocean or boats or traveling here strongly. We also have a milestone. This person is an achiever. They're very successful. If they're going to be with you, they, 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 there's a definitely, um, there will be a conflict created 
in front uh, in, in in their work in their achievement or success so they definitely they, they really do care about their repetition they really do care about repetition of their family or themselves so whoever this person is they they have their standards about yeah this is unrequited love this is not love this is lust this is um, sexual desire here this is unrequited here yeah let your friends help you so be careful you got before you jump into this relationship so keep an open mind at what waiting for if you're willing to be with this person so keep an open mind because this is a third party situation here and worth waiting for so maybe you need to wait for the right person and it's worth waiting for right yeah finances and career so you maybe meet this person through finances and career or this person is too focused on their finances and career they definitely do care about their money their repetition Now let's see where this relationship is heading to. We have a well-being. So take care of yourself and do the right choice. We have our answers and we have strength. Okay, so we have a strength reverse here and the strength here. So you have the option to say, I'm hearing again, yes or no to this person. You have a free will to say yes or no to this person. Yeah, to give the answer to this person. I feel like whatever the answers you're looking for, this is within you. You already know that. Justice here. This person could be in a karmic relationship or marriage. They could be already married. Or this is uh, universe also saying to me that if you're going to be with this person, then definitely it's a karma for you. You're going to get attracted to your karma. You're going to pay the karma. This could be your karmic partner, by the way. You're dealing with or coming in your way. There's a lot of passion here. Look, this relationship is all about passion. Starting from the passion, lust and desire, physical attraction and all that stuff. But unrequited love here. Because this person already have a family, maybe. Well-being. So it's really important for you to choose your path carefully. With this person or if you're dating them already. So be careful. Now let's see. This could be you. You in a third party. And this person is single. So be careful. Be careful whatever you are going to attract. Because I'm, I'm definitely seeing... A karma here let's see what does this person want to say to you I want to hold you in my arms yes this person has a lot of lust and desire for you life is so unfair with me I want you so bad but I can't have you look look this person mourning for you yearning for you I hate you that you ignoring me so this person really wants your attention they don't like that you're ignoring them we also have I can't believe you left me yeah this person is in a shock like how you can leave me how we have a transformation so this person could be going through some transformation or you could be you are my ideal type yeah look at this you're going to be ideal this is ideal type like the perfect love the perfect partner that, that they were looking for and you are this you know you fulfill all the box here We also have a spying and stalking. I'm, I'm also getting like a Scorpio vibe from this person though. Like they're definitely observing you. This is like a very possessive person also. So they could be Capricorn, Taurus or Virgo. Very possessive, very um, jealous person. So like a Scorpio. And Pisces and Taurus and Libra too. Wishing you were here with me right now. This person really wants you bad physically in their life. They want to spend the time with you. I will not give up on you and us. So this person is not giving up. They will try everything to get you back, I'm hearing. Get you back or to be with you. And if you're dating with this person, they're not giving up on you, honey. I'm tired. I'm tired. I can't let you go. So this person is really trying. I told you, you have some type of soul uh, connection. Uh, maybe from past life or maybe in this lifetime. There's a definitely a soul tribe here. So you know them from past lives. There could be some unfinished business from the past life that you need to deal with this person. Or maybe in this lifetime, there's an unfinished business here. Release your ex so I can come into your life. So a lot of you, this could be a new person that watching you, stalking you and spying you. But there could be another commitment already. Be careful. Now let's see.
Let's see. So we have Q, E. This person is very smart, I'm hearing. We have a R. I. Rio, I'm hearing Rio. So triple one could be a number here that you're watching. Yeah, Saturn, this person could be older than you. This is your karmic partner. There's a karma here, definitely. Heavy karma involved here. Be careful. So I'm hearing whatever you're going to do, it's going to attract. It's going to affect your karma. Bad or good. It's up to you now. Now, for some of you, this person could be in a karmic relationship. They could be a singer, writer. They play them instruments and music, I told you, in their house. Um, you have this black. Yeah, there's a doubt. You need to protect your energy if you don't want to deal with this person. This is definitely a Scorpio heavy, a Scorpio energy here. This person has a lot of baggage. Or you will put yourself in a lot of baggage with this person. So we have a pizza. This person really want to ask you out. Want to meet you in a restaurant or something. We have this yellow. You are this yellow light and this person is a black. This is narcissistic and empath energy here again. Yeah, this person is very attractive to you. They are very attractive to your aura. Unicorn, they feel like you're very magical. They feel like this connection is magical. They can't believe that someone that they always imagine or dream of can exist like this in their lifetime. In this, in front of them. This person could bear, you know, to do biking or, you know, or motorcycle or something. We also have this. Yeah, this person feels like you're a Barbie. You're a very cute mermaid. You're very cute and innocent. You could be younger than this person. There's an age gap here. Or you could already have a baby, like baby girl. Baby mama. We have a dog. This person could be born in a dog year. Um, we also have a unicorn here. Yeah, dog and horse. So maybe you, you both could be a couple of a dog and horse year. And we also have a dragon year, maybe. This person has a lot of passion and desire for you. This person have a lot of things that they do, want to do in the bedroom with you. Like this person really want to be like, this is like a, I don't know what type of style they like, but they are very, very sexually attractive to you. This person, oh my God, they don't have a time. Just they, if they will come, they will just come in and route, do sex with you. Like they, they're very, very attractive to your body. Like you are this everything that they want in a partner. They really want to make you their muse. We have the star here. They're wishing for you. They could be far from you, obviously. Um, with this turtle here, this person is very um, st steady, observing you, I'm feeling, from afar. They're very slow. We have this uh, peace sign. They feel like you have a very peaceful aura, so they want to be with you. You have the key here and heart too. This person feels like you unlock this person's heart. We also have this, um, yeah, this, this, um, this butterfly, this moth here. So this person is definitely feel like they're, they're in awe for you. You woo them all. Like they're, you woo them. And they're like, what just happened? Four of Pentacles. This person is very possessive. They want to keep you for themselves. They're very possessive. They're very controlling. Um, they are going to, Put you on some restrictions if you're going to accept them, if you're going to be with them. They really want all you for themselves only. Again, another four here, starting from this four and ending on the four. So this could be someone who's a 44 years old. Or this is someone who's very... Um, like they, they are maybe holding back right now, but they will let you know on the time. Because they feel like right now they need to be steady. They need to be slow. But they have a plan. With the Four of Pentacles, also this person is definitely want to create some family with you. Or not a family. Just maybe just want to put you in their house. Like you and me. Sharing the same house. Living under the same roof. Something like that. They want you, baby. They want you. So this is your reading. I'm going to see you in the next video. Bye. God bless you all.